I'm going to make 1 million coins in one week. Day one, I started with nothing, sold a few things in my club and managed to get up to 45,000 coins. I traded with gold shadow players until we had 100,000 coins and on day two, I did loads of different SBCs including hybrid nations and hybrid leagues. Day three now and as you'll be able to see, we have got loads of special cards that have been selling on. Now boys, boys, boys. Boys, I am running into a bit of an issue. I've been trading with these special cards, and I'll be completely honest with you, boys. Getting to 200,000, 250,000 coins, that was a walk in the park. It's a different story going from 250k to like 500, 600, 700, and even a million. So this is what I've been doing, trading with specials. So the method that I've been using has been this method right here. Gold team of the week and setting it to around just 25,000 to 30,000 coins. And doing the exact same thing for loads of different special cards, depending on who it is. So say, for example, winter wild cards, whatever, whatever. Wherever. So I've been sitting here and for example this Kalulu at 25,000 coins He would be a deal because with a shadow on him. He's going for about 30,000 coins So I've just been sitting here and just honestly refreshing over and over and over again until something pops up Let me show you this Kalulu for example I've been picking him up consistently for low 20s and he fluctuates between sort of low 20s and then high 30s as well So let's take a look at how much he's going for with a shadow on him with a shadow on him, He's going for about 28,000 coins that one at 25k has been sold on so say for example I pick it up at 22. I try and flog it on at 29,000. It's some of the deals that I've got though. I've managed to get myself a Trossard, for example, at 21,000 coins. He's going for about 27. I've got some of these at 23 and 24. Got Gamirez at 25. Shimeni at 23. Another Kalulu at 24. Taremi with a Hunter on him. Just been changing the method up and using Hunters as well. I've also got a Chan at 31. Raspadori at 22. And Kessie at 24. Now, realistically, this method's not bad, but we need to churn it out pretty much all day today and hopefully get up to 300,000, 400,000 coins. But this one week thing is getting hard, you know. Realistically, I do want to buy some coins. And if I was going to buy coins, I'd head on over to Mule Factory. So boys, if you do want to go and buy yourself any FIFA coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. Use that code LE5CHEAP. So one thing that EA are doing at the minute is they're releasing new SBCs for the team of the season warm-up. So what I'm doing, I'm actually doing some trading around these. Let me show you what I'm doing. So this guy right here, this Panola, is currently in a few solutions for the latest one that's been released not too long ago. He's currently selling at 4.3k, a huge, huge, huge amount. Now take a look at this. A certain someone, I don't want to say who in particular, has been picking up some of these cards. I've managed to get seven of them at around 1.4k, which is absolutely beautiful because we can sell them on for a profit of 2k per card. We've got seven of them, so that means that we're going to be making 14,000 coins just from doing this. So I think in combination with the special trading and this kind of trading I could be making bank in this episode so I'm going to carry on doing these and then we're probably going to do some profitable SBCs in a bit but I, I, I want to see if these sell on pretty quick if they do that would be absolutely perfect we've had so many special cards sell on right here which is perfect just honestly so so good trading wise today and look at this all of the Panolas have just sold on at 3.5k <laughs> nice and we've even got cards still selling on as well. This is getting ridiculous. We could be making about 400,000, 500,000 coins in this episode alone. <laughs> yeah, boy. Boys, we've got 440,000 coins. I cannot stop making coins in this game. Look at the state of this. This is genuinely one of the best things that I have used this year. Like, uh, easy. In a few hours, I've made 150,000 coins. All of these selling so, so much because the new SBCs that EA are releasing at the minute. I... I, I... Honestly, I, I can't get over it. Like, I genuinely can't. Three days ago, three days ago, we had nothing. And now we are on just shy of half a million coins. In this video, though, we're going for that 500,000. New solution has just popped up on Footbin, so I'm going to try and get some of these cards for as cheap as I possibly can do right now. Now, when these cards pop up, basically, you're looking for the silvers and the bronzes because they can go for an absolute ton. Oh, Jesus, I forgot I had all these. So let's hopefully be able to get some deals on these. I'm paying no more than 2,000 coins on any of this stuff. I don't want to pay any more than that. I don't really want to be paying that price for a bronze card. I mean, realistically, it could go to like 4k, 5k, but if it doesn't, I'm going to be sat with my thumb firmly up my backside. Not for the first time either. Right, I'm going to move on to the next player now. It's called Gribich or something like that. Gribich, this guy right... No, 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 it's not the right card. It's not the right card. I've just paid 1.9k for an absolute waste, man. Are you taking the fuck? 
fucking pissed! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Before the people start to see this, that's the biggest thing with all this. You need to be quick, right? Adrian Gribich. Oh, man, I'm, I'm just a bit too late on him. He's going for like 3.5k. That's way too expensive for me. Realistically, we've got some cards, though, so that's not too bad. So let's just sit here and let's just wait for a few minutes and just see how much this card goes to. If he goes up this Valenti card by quite a bit, we could be sat on some decent profit. He's already about 2.8k. So I'm hoping that this one goes pretty quick for 2.8. If these all go for 2.8 and 3, we've got ours at like 2, so we could be making sick profit. We also got a bronze card as well, and this Mara, who I'm not really too sure is really going for anything. Yeah, he's going for like 2.5k, so that one's just sold at 2.5k. Any other sold 2.4k, so he's going for about 2.4 roughly. Ideally, we need this one to go at 2.9. And then I've also got loads of cards from before as well. I don't even know how much this guy is going for at the minute. He's going for about... 2,000 coins. Ew, that's not the best. Ew, no. No, 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 no. This Valenti is getting bought up, though, at 3,000 coins. That's absolutely brilliant news because we can sell ours on at, like, 2.9k, make a quick profit on that. So let's go and check this guy as well. It has the other cards gone. Ew, it looks like more are actually getting listed up at 2.3. That's, 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 that's not ideal. I'll be honest, it's not ideal. Oh, my transfer list is just getting too full up to get... All these sold on. Right, we'll just clear the transfer list. All right, okay, okay, okay. We've got one card up at 3,000 coins. The bronzes are selling, so we're looking good. So this is the thing. When the solution comes on, you've got to be in and you've got to sell the stuff as quick as you possibly can do. Because realistically, if you sit on this stuff for too long, what happens is exactly what's happened with this guy right here. He just drops in price. They only start to sell as that solution's at the very top of the foot bin solutions. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link in the description to it. There's a one there at 2.8K. That one's expired. Okay, I'm just going to be a tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny bit cheeky with this one. Let's up at 3.6. We need to get all this stuff sold on though. That we are against the clock. Some at rotten here. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, if sold on. All right, stuff is selling on. That is good, but we need everything selling on. Please, these bronzes need to sell on. Right, what is going on here? What is going on? Right, is anything sold on? Anything at all? Right, 2.5k. That's good. I just need a couple of others to sell on. I'm going for that 500k, man. Everything is sold on, boys. We are making easy coins. 450k. Now, I'm going for that 500k, boys. We will be set up so well for team of the season. Boys, we are currently on 470,000 coins. We are so close to 500k. I've picked up some last remaining deals. And if these can sell on, we are making 500,000 coins today. This is, this is honestly unbelievable. We started off this episode, I think we're like, what? 200,000 coins or something? We've made 300k in a day. Got this ROM card for about 1.3k. I've got this Shabbat card as well at about, I think it was, let me, let me double check how much. 2,000 coins is currently going for about 3.5. I'm hoping that the solution stays at the top if it does. We can make 500k right now. You can see in the top left, stuff is selling on. We are 20,000 coins away, but we just need we just need everything to sell on. Please, 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 will these start selling on? If they do, we are feeling good. Right, he's definitely selling at 1.9k. I've got a couple of them, but these need to sell at 3k, really. Boys, we have done it. We have done it. We have made 500,000 coins, 300,000 in one single day. You know, we could even get this done before the seven days is up. You'll have to see in the next episode to find out.